Video 63 September 22, 2011 Friends, this is another short message to put you abreast of current events. There has been a major activity of your governments using the system bombardment high frequencies in your atmosphere. It seems they are trying to create specific points of discharge of solar energy, making way in your magnetosphere. This may cause many floods, as it is generating large amounts of water vapor in the lower layers of the planet's atmosphere. This measure can also disrupt the viewing target of upcoming astronomical events. The Pleiadians reported large military movements across the planet, discovered the weapons are conventional. Not nuclear warheads yet. It appears that steps are being taken to a big event scheduled for these times. The rocket that was launched in August as directed to Jupiter, called Juno, has a route very different from what was announced to you by your government. In fact it is on track for passage by the comet Elenin to try to transmit images of the comet and the spacecraft Krullians who is accompanying it. From there it goes into the Nibiru system. To try to pass through its system of planets filming and transmitting images. This was expected. And as it is not an artifact of war, there is no interception by Krullians. The Krolians slowed the system Nibiru and are waiting for the orbital time he should meet his turn around the Sun. To maneuver and put it in the opposite route of their orbits. This procedure, as we know, is partially approved. But has not been fully released to completion. There is always the possibility that the operation be aborted until it is fully authorized. Mythic, Elenin the comet will pose a serious problem for the planet in this imminent alignment. See, the dwarf star continues in its orbit, this means that the tunnel is connected to the massive gravitational Elenin comet as ever. The sun will respond to that gravitational imbalance. With solar flares, in an attempt to equalize these forces and maintain the balance of the system. This will be the role of the tip of the spear, to address these solar emissions to the planet Earth. We could calculate more accurately the effect this will have on the planet. If your government were not massively changing your upper atmosphere by pumping frequencies. Because these variables make it impossible to any projection. The way they are manipulating the geomagnetic field. It seems that they are defining regions chosen for them to suffer greater consequences than others. Defined by criteria that only they know. Mythic, the comet will cause three days of darkness. The comet itself does not. What could cause an artificial eclipse of thy sun, in almost all latitudes, could be the spaceship Krillians. If they turn off the field of invisibility. We sincerely hope they do it could be the start of a chain reaction where more than 300 ships of different races could turn off their invisibility fields and show all earthlings their support missions present on the planet. Just wandering, try to explain a detail about the fields of energy, matter at the quantum level behaves in a way when in his natural state of freedom of movement and otherwise totally different when being observed or filmed. Only when the particles are being watched, they behave as expected by observing which have been proposed to act. I do not know if that makes sense to most of you, 
but that's how quantum particles in the energy fields plasmic work. Some things you will only see, when you really know what you want to see and are prepared to see. In this new stage that will pass, you will learn how to deal routinely with quantum mechanics. That governs all of this our third dimension. When our satellites and the planet will begin to present operational problems. Friends, the axis of the planet is declining even more pronounced now. Caused by the increase in core temperature and movement of magma and soon you will begin to understand the irreversible changes in regional climates as well as the rapid melting of the polar areas. The magnetic poles in turn, are repositioning themselves more quickly in response to gravitational influences of the tunnel formed by the Sun and Dwarf Star. Your satellites, and I power distribution networks, will suffer the influence of massive solar flares. During the month of October, and from the beginning of November the remaining satellites will face the rain of meteorites. That will do great damage throughout your communications system. Here, take a conclusion with respect to an alleged alien attack. The elimination of all your network of satellites would be very easy to be performed by any spacecraft and it would take any opportunity to defend by the military, for all your logistics flight, missile, and positioning, depends exclusively on these small apparatus. So when we sailed in your atmosphere, do many tricks, not to drop these small devices, because we want to avoid problems and not create any more. These technologies are very primitive, if you kept that pace for another 50 years will have rings like Saturn, formed only from scrap equipment inoperative. In this new phase, using new technologies deployed on the planet, we can assist in the cleaning of your upper atmosphere, eliminating all that old junk technology.